I'm a beer hound. Ow! The love affair with beer. Uh, part of what we do, uh, I feel, uh, uh, that makes us stand out is is uh, the other owner and myself. My name is Keith Lawrence. I'm an owner. The other owner is Peter Hayes. Uh, Peter was trained by a German brewmeister in Frankenmuth, uh, Michigan, back when the old uh, uh, Frankenmuth Brewery was still running. And he really sticks to the traditional forms of, of beers and tries to stick to uh, as much traditional as, as we can. We use a lot of six row grain, which to non brewers just it's a, it's a, a brewer's grain that has six stalks coming up instead of just two. Uh, and we do a lot of step massing, mashing, which means you just you can raise the temperature in increments. Uh, we purposely went out and bought a step mash system so that we could do that. Uh, what we're doing in the beginning right now is we're trying to keep our beers, we're developing our base flavors. Uh, what, is, what is a good stout? And you know, we've developed that. What's a good IPA? And you know, we want to get all of the, the good basic flavors down. And then after we've done that, then we can start experimenting and do a, a chocolate mint uh, java stout or something like that. But at this point in time, and we've, we're having very good success. Uh, things are you know, really going well for us. Uh, and so that's kind of, I, I feel, what makes us a little bit different is trying to stick to tradition. And that's, that's in part of our logo is uh, old world uh, beers and ales made uh, in America. And that's kind of where we're at. And uh, from here, uh, once we start bottling, we'll start expanding our repertoire and, and, and just keep uh, you know, building big, bigger and better beers. Oh, a brief history of, of uh, how we started is uh, actually I didn't, it, it worked with uh, the other owner's wife and uh, in uh, our day job and um, I had invited him to a New Year's Eve party and I actually didn't know uh, Peter that well and uh, come to find out when he came to the New Year's Eve party he had uh, 10 years of master uh, brewing experience and having been a home brewer for 10-15 years myself and my brothers uh, we just kind of you know just listened to everything he said really uh, a couple months later, uh, I invited him to a Pistons basketball game. I had half a season, season tickets. On the way down, he said, you ever consider starting a microbrewery? I said, well, I'll have to think about it. And about three days later, I called him, and I said, yeah, I'm in. And I said, asked him, I said, well, how many other people are in? You know, figuring it'd be a big conglomerate. And he said, well, besides myself, you. And I said, okay, I'm in. And that's basically where it all started.